Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I will be showing you how to use the progress bar component in Flash. So to get us started we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to save this so that some of the linkage later on in the ActionScript will work correctly. So I'm going to say progress bar component and we'll just save over what I already have. Now I'm going to get the component out by going to window then components and I'm going to be using two components today uh, in our tutorial. I'm going to be using the UI loader and the progress bar. Now don't worry, I'm still going to do a specific tutorial on the UI loader, but it works really well with the progress bar, so that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to drag both of those out on the stage. I can close that, and I can start uh, positioning this where I want it and sizing it up. So I'm using the transform tool to size this up how I want it. And I'm just going to size up the progress bar and make it a little bit larger so it's more visible to you guys. And I can position that where I want it. So I'm just going to put that at the bottom middle there. And then we also need a dynamic text box underneath that. And we'll just position that right underneath. And that's going to display the percentage. So basically, in this loader, we're going to be choosing an image and we're going to load it into that. And then this progress bar is going to show a representation, like a graphical representation of how much of the image is loaded. And then it's going to display that percentage underneath in the text box. So now what we need to do is add some instance names. So for this um, text box, I'm going to say percent text. And then for the progress bar, let's just call it pbar for short and then for this we'll just call it my loader okay so now I think we're ready to start using some action scripts so I'm going to open up the actions panel and the first thing we need to do is get the URL um, for our image so we need to say var I'm going to call it image URL colon and it's going to be a string space equals space a couple of quotes and a semicolon and then inside the quotes I'm going to uh, link it to a image that I have on my desktop in a folder so it's called stock and then photos slash and then it's called trees.jpg so that way I can load it in from my desktop and now for the next line we need to basically request that URL so this is just putting the URL in and then I need to actually get that into flash so I'm going to say var and we'll just call it my request and then a colon it's a URL request so URL request space equal space new space and then URL request again and then an open parenthesis and then what URL we're requesting which is image URL because we created that just above okay close parenthesis semicolon so now we have that we need to start adding some parameters to our uh, UI loader so we're going to say my loader dot scale content with a capital C and then space equals space true and then a colon or a semicolon and basically what that's going to do is it's going to pull in the image and put it into the space that I've set rather than bringing in the image and then just having it be off the stage and super large so it'll scale it down to that size and then the next thing I need to do is say my loader and we are basically needing to say what it's loading so dot load and we're going to be loading in the my request URL so my request and then a close parenthesis semicolon. Okay, so now we've done that. We need to um, assign the loader to the progress bar. So we need to say pbar dot source. So basically the source of what it's going to be um, loading and showing the progress of. And then space equals space. And then we can say my loader. And then the colon. So now it's linked to the um, the loader. The progress bar is linked to the loader. And now the next thing we need to do is set up some event listeners. We basically need two events. Uh, the first one is for while it's loading, and that's basically going to be updating the text box with the current percentage. And then we need another event for once it's completely loaded and it's done so that we can take off the progress bar and the text um, so that those disappear once it's loaded. So for the first one, we're going to say pbar that add event listener. Messed up that. Okay, add event listener, open parenthesis, it's going to be a progress event. And that's a capital P and a capital E, and then dot progress in all caps. And then comma, and we need to name a function, and I'm just going to call it load progress. Close parenthesis, semicolon. 
And then for the next one, I'm just gonna copy this and we're going to make another line. And instead of having a progress event, it's just going to be an event. And instead of dot progress, it's gonna be complete in all caps. And then load complete instead of load progress. So that will be the function that's gonna fire once it's done loading. So we're going to start by writing the first function for when it's loading. So we're gonna say function load progress. Okay, and then we need an open parenthesis. It's an event, colon, progress event. Progress event. And then a close parenthesis, colon, open curly bracket, actually colon void, sorry, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. And then inside here we need to set that text to the current percentage, or the percent complete of the image loading. So we're going to say percent text, dot text, space equals space, and then we need an integer, so int parenthesis, and then it's gonna be the event dot current target, and target is capitalized, or just the T on target, and then dot percent complete, and the C is capital. And then close parenthesis, and then we're going to add a percent sign to the end of that. So we're gonna say um, plus, and then a couple of quotes, and inside the quotes we're gonna want a space, actually we're just gonna want just a percent sign. And then at the very end we're going to want a semicolon. So that's going to basically take the current target, which is um, the image being loaded, and then it's going to get the percentage complete. It's gonna add a percent sign on the end, and it's gonna show that in the text box. So the next thing we need to do is write the other function. So we need to say function, and then we called the other one load complete. Okay, now that we have that, we're gonna open a parenthesis, we're gonna say event, and then it's going to be an event with a capital E, close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. And now basically what we need to do is remove these event listeners because we don't want those floating around once we're done with them. And we're going to basically just copy and paste that and then we're gonna remove instead of add. So it's very easy to take those off. And then once we need, or uh, once we've done that, then we need to also remove the progress bar and the text. And you can do that by setting them to um, the visibility to false, or you can remove the child of the um, progress bar, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say remove child, open parenthesis, p bar, close parenthesis, semicolon, and that's going to remove that um, progress bar. And then for the text, I'm just going to set it from the percentage to nothing. So percent text dot text space equals space, a couple of quotes and a semicolon. And then we don't want anything in the quotes because we don't want it to say anything. So I'm going to control test movie and everything should be working okay. There you go. You can see the image already shows up because I already have it on my computer so it shows it it's already downloaded so it just comes up really quick. So if you want to see the actual animation you go to view simulate download and then you can see that it's loading up. And I picked a pretty large image so that it would actually take time to load so it wouldn't go super fast. You can actually see the animation here. So once it gets to 100, this should disappear, this should disappear, and it should go to the image. So there you go. The image has appeared, progress bar has disappeared, the text has disappeared, and you have your image there. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial and learned a little bit about the uh, progress bar component. Uh, it's a pretty good component if you want to uh, display progress of something loading to your uh, users. People don't like to sit and wait unless they can kind of understand how long they're going to have to wait. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you tomorrow with another component. Thanks.